What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a huge Hidden Fates opening. We are going to be opening some of the stuff we bought on Black Friday. Uh, so I did a video on this uh, earlier, uh, before Thanksgiving, and essentially Target had the only deal, in my opinion, that was worth going after, and that was Hidden Fates tins that were 50% off. Uh, so $10 per tin, uh, definitely by far the lowest pack uh, price dollar per pack ratio coming in at 250 per uh, pack which is great um watch a couple openings i feel like the pull rates weren't crazy good but we're gonna try our luck we're gonna be actually opening seven of these so it's quite a huge opening uh 20 packs all together uh we went there kind of like shortly after five when they opened and uh the the display they kind of had like one huge display of it and uh, wasn't picked over yet so uh, i didn't really want to buy the whole thing out so we just bought a handful of them uh, which we're going to open but then luckily they actually stocked them on target.com and actually if you purchased it on black friday you actually got a 20 percent coupon on top of that so uh for a future purchase that we can leverage and um yeah so i hope everyone was managed to get uh pick up the stuff that they're looking for on black friday maybe you got some of these hidden fates deals uh if you weren't able to uh let me know what your experience was in a comment down below and i think we're gonna time speed open up all these tins and we'll get into the packs all right, so here are a bunch of promos. We have Charizard, Gyarados, and Raichu, all the different ones. And uh, yeah, I was really happy to see this deal uh, versus some kind of Cosmic Eclipse thing because while I love the Cosmic Eclipse set, here's a bunch of the promo codes. While I really like the set, you know, as far as openings go, Hidden Fates is just so much more exciting in my opinion, so much more enjoyable for myself. Especially when the um, secondary market for Cosmic Clips is kind of down the drain for some reason. But uh, alright, we have a huge stack of packs of Hidden Fates. Obviously, we're going for that Charizard or that Cynthia Full Art. Um, if you haven't seen our videos for where we opened up those premium collection boxes, those things are absolutely loaded. I have been do having very positive results. And uh, you know, we'll see how these tins go. Again, I watching a couple other videos, I feel like things weren't great but we'll try our luck we have electric energy to start and then koga brock's grit misty paris uh we're going to go kind of fast we got a lot of packs to open eevee oh my gosh rainbow birds off the start and a psychic energy reverse so that is a great start i'm pretty sure i'm going to need to find some more sleeves so maybe we'll try to go fast Ooh, this sleeve is kind of dirty but that's okay Maybe we'll just worry about the perfect fits for like the really big hits, kind of like this Rainbow Birds. And things like regular GXs or regular Shinies will sleep after the video, but there you go. First pack, and we got two hits, the Rainbow Birds and a Reverse Energy. That's a good start. And what an amazing sale. Especially like, I was, I was wondering if it's gonna be a situation where, you know what, they didn't really stock it, but whatever's left uh, before the Black Friday, is you can get it at half off just to get people in the store but no they had like a this really big display um it also came with some other tins for ten dollars i think they're basically xy stuff i don't know actually i think some of the stuff did have like ultra prism and stuff so it wasn't terrible but definitely this was the better deal it's actually a lot of the same tins that were in the costco deals so while you know it's not bad even i pick those up every once in a while nowhere near for this hidden fates deal and i was really happy to see them online just because you know we only went to one target and i didn't want to buy the entire thing so we didn't and uh but we managed to pick up some more online didn't manage to get the charizards but get get a bunch more of the raichu gyarados and pincer gx followed by lapras so we did get a hit right there and let's see so we have three cards set in the hit pile three cards set in the reverse hollow so we are basically around that 50 percent and that's what we're going to try to maintain hope everyone had a good holiday and everyone is well rested and uh yeah back to work on monday all right charmeleon star you ekans eevee pikachu clefairy Lapras is our rare. Oh, but we've been pulling a lot of Quagsires. It seems like the cards we always pull are Quagsire. Let's take a look. So this is the super glossy version. So I feel like there's like a kind of like a regular printing, a glossy one, and then like a textured one where the attack area is also a little bit textured. 
find that very interesting. When it comes to grading, I doubt that kind of thing, which one you have, makes any kind of difference. All right, Lightning Energy, Graveler, Giovanni, Brock, Ekans, Cubone, a Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Electrode is our rare, and then a Farfetch'd. So I'm usually not into like the, I don't like to go crazy on Black Friday thing, and I always thought it was weird how things were just becoming earlier and earlier, where at first it was, you know, Black Friday, you have to wake up super early, go out to the store, wait outside. And I thought it was weird, like, oh my gosh, they're going into, you know, midnight on Thanksgiving or Black Friday, and then it's like during Thanksgiving, and, you know, that could feel like it was detracting away from the holiday. But I feel like I've come around a little bit because since it's so spread out, like when we went to the Target a little after five, it was not an ordeal where you're standing outside forever and it's like a mad rush. It was actually very calm, you know, and we were kind of in and out in like 20 minutes, and we did more than just go to the Pokemon section, we walked around a little bit. So from that perspective, yeah, I kind of feel bad for, or I hope the people that have to work, you know, are kind of like compensated for the time and the, the time they are not able to spend with friends and family. But from a consumer point of view, it takes away a lot of the chaos, which I very much appreciate. And it did not need to be a whole day affair. We didn't do a lot of shopping, we only went to Target. And uh, yeah, like I said, in and out, back in home with friends and family inside an hour, so not too bad at all. Zapdos is our next card. This card is, looks kind of off-centered. And then, ooh, Type Null. And yep, this is the glossy version again. Type Null is a good one. I think you can still... I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you can still use this um, in standard, but if not, always like cards that you can swag out your standard decks. That's why I like that Quagsire. We've been pulling a lot of Quagsire and Magnemite. Our curly hits have stopped, which I don't mind. But if we could pick any, I think I would want some more Eevees, Alolan Vulpix, and then some more like Nagan, uh, Naganade or uh, Malamar. All right, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Jolteon, and then a Metapod. But I kind of feel like this kind of seals the deal as far as, at least in the US, you know, purchasing anything over $20 as far as tin goes is super unnecessary. You know, this thing I'm sure kind of put a healthy injection of very cheap Hidden Fates cards. And uh, so if you're looking to pull pa uh, crack some packs open and you kind of miss that thing, definitely don't spend more than that $20 MSRP. Giovanni's Exile, love this card, or love the look of this card. I actually have no idea what it does. I never really paid that close attention. Uh, discard two, two bench Pokemon that have no damage counters on them and all attention attached to them. I'm not sure what that's for. Definitely the Justin James is much more powerful or easy to leverage. Okay, no shiny GXs first, which is kind of concerning. Um, and uh, wow, I've never seen that before. This card was flipped the other way around. So, spoiler alert, we're going to pull a Erica's Favor. Yeah, very strange. And our reverse is Misty's Gym. I feel like this guy finally fell over. But yeah, when you kind of compare the products, especially, you know, for us in the beginning when we opened those pin collections, oh man, we had terrible luck. That's where we had the curse going on, not able to pull any shiny GXs. Tins was a little bit better. I feel like the ball collections is kind of like where we hit our stride. We didn't open too many ETBs, although we kind of had a couple disastrous ball collections. But on that, things have been pretty positive. And then those premium ones... This thing kind of like destroys that price point that they offered, but uh, we got some great pulls. Arbok, even when that figure was broken, uh, I believe that was yesterday's video, so go check it out if you haven't seen it already. Oh. <laughs> some weird print issues going on. Backwards card, the code card's not oriented correctly, I, I think. I kind of have relying on muscle memory at this point 
All right, let's see what we got. Sorry, it seems like uh, my NAS back there is making some noise. We got my Butterfree, and then the Eevee. I'm just gonna clean up some piles and be right back. All right, and we're back. So, so far we are almost halfway through and we are kind of maintaining that 50% hit ratio. So, so far all good, although no home runs and these code cards are, orientation is totally throwing me off. And just to do a couple of shout outs, shout out to everyone on the Discord. If you do want to join the conversation, just hit that Discord link down below. And uh, in case you didn't know, we do sh do streams uh, where we stream PTCGO Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings, and occasionally additional days. But you can always catch us on Twitch and YouTube live. And we do tons of pack giveaways throughout the stream. Uh, only works on the Twitch side though. All right, let's get our first shiny GX. Or a gold card. We haven't pulled a gold card in a little bit, but uh, I believe that's still people maintain that the pull rate is like one in every hundred packs, so it's not that surprising. But here we go, Cartana. I feel like this is another one we pull a lot of. Have quite a bit of dupes of him, and as far as like trades and stuff, that's not very sought after. At least the uh, non GX version. I think Cartana is the one that has both. Alright, definitely going to start picking up the pace, try to go through these packs a little bit faster. Alright, we have a Mew, still a big fan of that art, and Char ooh, Charmander. Haven't pulled, uh, I'm not sure when was the last time we pulled a Charmander or Charmeleon. Shiny. Okay, Fairy Energy, Chansey, Pikachu, and then we have Jesse and James Hollow, not bad, and then, ooh, Dark Ride. Dark Ride is kind of a popular one. I underestimated previously how popular this guy is, and I will say this shiny does look great. Kind of like that purple color. I like it. So our first shiny GX, and it is a good one. Nice. So I hope everyone's able to enjoy the rest of the weekend. I had to return back to my apartment a little earlier as there was there is a storm about to hit the northeast. Although it seems like the uh, Greater Boston area is not going to be as hit as badly as we originally predicted. Jolteon, and then a Koga's Trap. But yeah, let me know what your, uh, <laughs> if you had any travel plans for Thanksgiving. Obviously, it's a huge travel holiday. I myself have to go, ah, uh, it's like a three-hour drive, depending on when you make it. And basically, to head out there, uh, basically travel across all of Massachusetts, took about three hours but basically I left at uh, I was driving at midnight so to avoid all the traffic and on my way back you know I feel like a lot of people were trying to get ahead of that storm so it was actually quite a good number of cars at Saturday night again got home around midnight and I feel like we're hitting a bit of a lull as far as the hits go that dark ride was sweet but we still need some more I think uh, the codes uh, things are really throwing me off So a lot of the Sword and Shield cards are starting to be leaked, and it does seem like the Japanese will uh, the Japanese heads will be dropping a little bit earlier. Ooh, Lucario! I think this is one I still might need, or if not, I only have one of. Very nice. Still got that glossy printing, as you can see right there, all that light bouncing off. Very solid hit right there. That's another really good shiny, that orange color. But I think the difference is kind of like, let's say when we got Alter Creation, then we had another month before Cosmic Eclipse came out. And I think basically 
three months, Japanese will get incremental sets, and then when the last set comes out will be when the whole, all those sets combined hits the US market or the English market, which is still an improvement, but I still feel like the English I will still get that, you know, spoilers and stuff like that versus getting them at the same time. We have a Gyarados GX, not terrible, and then a Mr. Mime. All right, starting to wind down in packs. Ah, Hidden Fates is just so fun to open. I think this, this set will be in print and available in stores for quite some time. And we'll kind of go down as one of the hypest sets for, I don't know, I'm not sure how they're going to top it. Just to throw out all these shinies is a great way to kind of like... Uh, stir a lot of buzz and a lot, make a lot of cards that people want. Riolu, so we got the whole evolutionary line, Lu Riolu and Lucario. I think there's a Lucario GX as well, and I believe I traded mine. So let's get one more of that evolutionary line, the GX shiny. So I would say this overall hit ratio is pretty good, but uh, yeah, no, no huge home runs, uh, no, no gold cards, no stadiums or anything like that, and. Uh, only a cup a couple of shiny GX's are better. Electrode? Ooh, Poipo, that's a good one. And I believe is that uh Unbroken Bonds? So it should be still legal. And we can use that in some kind of Naganado deck. Maybe to go with our shiny quagsires as well. We've been pulling those handily. So even though we still have a handful of packs left, kind of like my uh, own experience has been, yeah, you know what, these these tins aren't exactly packed, but I wouldn't say it's really bad. Definitely, I feel like I've had a better experience opening things like some Pokeball collections and the premium collection boxes. Although, you can't beat this price. $10 for a tin. That's a deal. All right, looks like we have five packs remaining, including this one right here. Psyduck Lapras is our rare. <laughs> this is that, shout out to Purge. This is that boring Lapras <laughs> I keep referring to. Versus the Sword and Shield one, which looks amazing. Check out those two videos, guys. and. Uh, there's actually some more leaks coming out, so I'll probably do some more content based on that. But uh, those Sword and Shield cards are pretty exciting. I think the only things that I'm not that thrilled about is some of the latest cards that affect GXs. You know, Vs will not be included in that. So things like Great Catcher, um, uh, Tag Call, Cherish Ball, you know, they'll fall off very quickly because they say there are things specifically GX or EX. So things are backwards compatible, but not forwards, which is kind of unfortunate. And I feel like they've created a lot of stuff around this tag teams, and now they're just going completely with a different mechanic and kind of like resetting things. Although, you know, not necessarily that the cards will be rotated out, but just the, they substitute the same mechanic under a different name. And simply that has its own ramifications. Alright, let's see. Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, Cubone, Arbuck, and then a Charmeleon. Wouldn't mind another shiny version of you. Okay, two packs left. We'll go with Mew first. Hidden Fate, still my favorite set to open. I think it's just these insane pull rates that really make it that make it uh, that way. Coughing? Clefairy? A Electrode? Oh, nice! Shiny Inke! We pull a good amount of Inke's Malmars, which I'm totally happy about. There's that gloss. So, Inke and Poiple. None of the evolutionaries, or evolutions, but uh, alright guys, last pack. As always, I appreciate all the support everyone has given to this channel. And uh, if you want to keep it coming, just hit that like button down below. 
show your support uh, if you're not already sub hit that sub button check catch us on stream at twitch.com slash i want a turtle join our discord and we have caterpie paris charmander cleave fairy oh nice full art birds we got the rainbow and the full arts this is the one i love the most oh no 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 stained glass for sure then this guy and blaine's last stand to wrap things up so amazing opening good amount of hits let's just do a quick count so i did not sleep them all so i do have to do that real quick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we'll count these as half 15 hits across uh what we do 28 packs so that is a positive ratio in my book so we're going to count this as a win and um yeah hope everyone had a good long weekend and was able to relax and uh yeah back to work on monday but uh yeah hope you managed to pick up some of these tins if you did let me know in a comment down below how your polls were i'm curious to see how this plays out i feel like i saw some not so good things on different channels so thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time